Well, it sounds like Ooh. the heat is really coming on this week. It, it really is. In fact, Alan, we're looking at uh, some of the hottest weather of summer on the way. And I think August, I know we don't want to hear this, but I think August is going to fare a lot hotter than July compared to normals. We're in the midst of a couple different uh, heat wave episodes on the way, one starting middle of this week. Not so hot now, relatively speaking. Mine not 81 degrees. Clouds, of course, the smoke's very thick, but a little cooler toward north central and eastern North Dakota here. Devil's Lake at 79 with thunderstorms nearby, 85 dry, but again, it is just so thick. You can't see any blue sky at all in Bismarck, nor in Dickinson, 96 right now in Glasgow. Not a lot of wind. That does not help, right? Looking at winds less than 10 miles per hour. Dew points here. It's that area you can wear factor quite high. Muggy for the state fair in the eastern half of North Dakota. Little bit better, more tolerable when you got dew points in the 50s toward Dickinson and Hedinger. So somewhat pleasant, but it's in that yellow and orange shade. That's when it's a bit on the thick side. Speaking of thick, the smoke, it's thick everywhere statewide and beyond. It is not going to change tonight nor tomorrow. Wednesday is going to be equally as thick, unfortunately, until we see an upper level pattern change here. We're going to continue to have that thick smoke from Western United States fires and Western Canada. In fact, looking at the latest data here, this is as of 615 here. It's updating automatically, uh, looking at many areas with uh, that unhealthy for some classification in that red shade surrounding that all of Western North Dakota now uh, in that category of um, unhealthy for some, but actually the red is unhealthy just period, unfortunately for many areas here. So not looking good again. That's not going to change scattering of thunderstorms. Eastern North Dakota, they'll be dying off dry farther toward the West here. It'll be hazy warm again for our Tuesday morning with lows only in the 60s here and for highs the core of the heat once again like it has been back in the Montana, but that is eventually going to be shifting into North Dakota later this week. So for tonight, looking at temps here dropping into the 60s. Meanwhile, for tomorrow, kind of like today, the core of the heat back into Montana, but still plenty of 80s throughout most of northern and eastern North Dakota. Uh, again, comparable to today with most of the heat back farther toward the west. Triple digit temperatures likely for Glasgow. Overnight lows for tonight could be a few in the upper 50s. Most of us will be in the 60s, but highs for tomorrow, no doubt farther west will be a lot hotter. Central North Dakota and eastern portions of the state in the 80s. Look at Wednesday. 104 in Sydney, 107 in Glasgow. The heat continuing to expand over central North Dakota by Thursday. Widespread mid to upper 90s. Overnight lows will be in the 70s. Friday morning, so Thursday night, Friday morning, quite frankly, it's going to be a very warm overnight with hot days here. A couple of nights, in fact, with lows only in the 70s. A far cry from the 70s below zero wind chills we had in Dickinson last winter. You think? Oh, boy. What a change, huh? Thanks. Yeah.